Fox team coverage this morning. Alicia Kuna is live in Las Vegas, Nevada. But we begin with Doug McElway live in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and the feud between the leader of the Catholic Church and the leading candidate for the Republican Party. Good morning, Doug. Good morning, Doug. Morning, Abby. Morning, Heather. This latest Trump controversy is raising a lot of speculation about what kind of effect it may have on the South Carolina primary less than 24 hours away now. Keep in mind that only about 10 percent of South Carolinians are Catholic. And there are some who speculate this controversy may actually help Trump because it actually refocuses the attention on what is arguably one of the most important issues or the most important issue of his entire campaign season. That is building the wall along the Mexican border. Here is the Pope's comment that sparked the conflagration. A person who thinks only about building walls, wherever they may be, and not of building bridges, is not Christian. This is not the gospel. Now watch as you see Donald Trump's initial reaction to this. He did something very uncharacteristic. He read from a written script, perhaps suggesting that this is something he had to wade through very, very carefully. No leader, especially a religious leader, should have the right to question another man's religion or faith, especially when they feed all sorts of false information into him. They're using the Pope as a pawn and they should be ashamed of themselves. That's the Mexican government. They should be ashamed of themselves for doing so, especially when so many lives are involved and when illegal immigration is so rampant. For Trump's rivals, all struggling to gain some traction against his uh, big poll numbers, this ranged from something that was just another distraction from them that diverted from their messaging to something that they too had to wade through very, very carefully. And that's between Donald and the Pope. I'm not going to get in the middle of that. I understand the Pope's call. He's a spiritual leader. He's the leader of the flock in terms of bringing people to the Lord. Uh, but on this issue, I would just say that while America you know, certainly has been a country welcoming to immigrants, uh, it also has to be a country that secures its border. No polls have been taken since this erupted yesterday. The latest Fox News poll, which was completed on Wednesday, still has Trump in a commanding lead at 32 percent with Cruz at 19, Rubio 15 percent, and Jeb Bush in single digits at 9 percent. It will be interesting to see if Trump raises this issue again or brings up the subject matter that erupted yesterday here when he speaks at noon today at the Myrtle Beach Sports Center. We'll be here watching. Back to you. Heather, Abby? Thank you, Doug. You want to place a bet on that? Yeah, right? Yeah, I think you probably <laughs> will.